Hey everybody, this is Not A Scream Chick, and yes, the Grinch that stole Christmas. No, we're not talking. Oh, wait a minute. Is the, is the, are politics getting involved once again in Christmas? Oh, because, wait, Christmas and church and state are supposed to be separate? Well, of course, they're trying to make a point, because it seems like all these UPX and FedEx um, deliveries from red states, slash Republicans, um, didn't quite make it on time for the holidays, disappointing many children out there. And, oh, wait a minute, only one red state did? One blue state. Oh, one blue state did, which was, what, the state of California? Yeah. And for that one, wait a minute. The, set, the things that weren't delivered were all from right, were all produced in right to work states. Uh, it's, it's called a union slowdown, the union folks. Union slowdown yeah. just for Christmas. Uh, well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Huh. And the Grinch that stole Christmas. Oh, yeah. It looks like the, uh, okay, uh, Fed, uh, her two things. FedEx and United Parcel are supporters of Obama and the Affordable Care Act. Their people came out yesterday and today explaining how you can understand how the Affordable, how the President could be pulling his hair out at a time like this because like the president's website, we had trouble with communications with our employees because they control, you know, the, what it amounts is they have devices in their computer, uh, you know, on their, uh, people are seeing you sign for them that tells you where you're supposed to be delivering things to. They had a problem with communications. The problem with communications seemed only to affect red states and affect right to work states and affect companies that basically uh, had plants in right to work states or headquartered in right to work states. Only one blue state, California, was affected. And the merchandise they didn't get on time was all from right to work states companies. Isn't that amazing? It was? Yeah. The union basically did a massive slowdown with support of companies is a good way to, you know, that's called an editorial, folks, for you. It's the supposition which an editorial, we can say anything. We, what do you mean he, we didn't say anything? No, we can say anything in an editorial because we're protected and we do have we do have news people after our degrees and diplomas and everything else. And we are members of the News Director Association, so sue me. <laughs> I'd love to go to court against you. So. Well, you know, part of it is it's not, that's not the only thing because Amazon's quite unhappy with Oh, Amazon is looking great. It said Amazon has said that the companies will make full restitution and they will pay damages for violating the terms of their contract. You know, okay, here's the deal. There was not a single problem in a state where the weather was bad. What? It was all in southern states where the weather was The bad. weather was 80 degrees. Yeah, where the weather was good. And they couldn't say, well, it was an act of God, not when the weather is warm all across the southern part of the United States. They couldn't. Yeah, when it's like 80 degrees over here. And yeah. So, so that was a thrown out. So they'll look into, okay, um, union slowdowns are, are illegal. So, and basically what you want to do is to piss off all these people. Well, here's the trick is, the Republicans yesterday made a, they, they, they basically showed they have a sense of humor like you would not believe. The National Party leaders put out the fact that the incumbents are not only going to not run on appealing Obamacare, they're going to run on fixing the problem because the people of this nation want Obamacare. And they, uh, the comedians were having a ball. They already declared it. The joke of the year, they said, oh, what does Herbie Daddy said? He said, John McCain's for a red state. John McCain's going to tell all those people in the red states, Obamacare is what we need. Obamacare is what we want. We just need to fix it. Well, once again, the president changes the rules for Obamacare. Oh, God, he just did. Well, because the site was overran with people signing up, uh, no, there were people visiting, signing up they did not do. Ah. <laughs> and they didn't pay premiums, according to the insurance commission, it has to be done to be official. He said because it was overran, that they felt the necessity, feel the necessity to extend the sign-up period for the fourth time because there's so many people. Like, I heard a Democrat yesterday that's really trying to hold on to a Senate seat specifically say, he said, we put it this way, we're politicians. If the thing halfway worked right, you'd be telling people that, you know, have the right real sign-up day and say, a hundred million people signed up and said what you're doing. Well, there were so many people signed up on this day, we have to extend it another day. There were so many people this day, we have to extend it. There's so many people signing up, we had to keep extending it. And, you know, 
he said, if you're going to lie, lie convincingly, just don't tell people that you have to keep attending it, in order to have any type of figure you can use. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, I mean it really is, because when you have uh, incumbents like uh, McConnell and McCain and other people, and Johnson, and, you know, saying that we need to fix Obamacare, not to, uh, d not to repeal it, you know that it's over, because basically uh, I heard Carl Rose said, oh, yeah, basically he said they couldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. He said that it is 66% of the people in the country want a knife stuck to the heart of that thing. And now the Republicans are embracing it, thinking, well, we're, we're going to be able to really win on this figure. Because, yeah. And yes, it's the least productive Congress ever, but what does that mean? Well, it means that the Senate of the United, okay, it was the most productive house in the history of the in the history of our nation. The Senate only took up uh, Senate basically took nothing up in the entire year that basically wasn't of Mickey Mouse nature, because uh, they basically decided to do everything by executive order and and, and by order of um, uh, of Obama's uh, cabinet people, which basically the courts are throwing out right and left. Even the left courts are throwing this stuff out. Here's the trick is, if you appoint a real liberal Democrat, and I'm talking a liberal Democrat, a liberal Democrat believes in the Constitution, freedom of speech, and that stuff. Mm -hmm. The people that are, a lot of the people, that, that's the scary thing. That once you appoint a judge to a lifetime position, they have a tendency to switch sides. Oh! That's historic. That. Remember, half of the people that are voting, Kennedy, which basically is a swing vote, is a Republican. And, and, um, and the Chief Justice Supreme Court, who gave us, he told, okay, we're going to explain something again. They did not make Obamacare the rule of the land. The specific reading was, Congress has the right to make taxes. And since this has been declared a tax, they can collect a tax. They never at any time said it was legal. They said you can collect taxes. Taxes is not saying that Obamacare is the rule of the land. Raising taxes is the rule of the land. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, when that comes back to the court, we're just all heading right now. He's losing among liberals, where the liberal courts are saying, we have a thing called, uh, you know, um, freedom of religion. You can't tell people that they have no rights in this country. And Ukraine's Yanukovych sees no alternative to close trade relations with Moscow. Yeah, it's called dealing with the European, okay, He's basically put an end to their joining the UN, I mean, uh, uh, European Commonwealth because he's a hardline socialist, mm -hmm. which is basically he's getting. You're looking all-scale war is breaking out in the Ukraine to get rid of this guy. And Australia's top court overrules gay marriage in capital. Because what it was is just like in the United States, the people are not approving it. Legislatures are. Legislatures tend to basically to once you're elected. And it's hard to get you out of office. Like, we got a 94% return rate in the United States Senate. Uh, it means that uh, you basically say F you to the people that elected you because you know you're going to get elected again anyway. And another court defeat for Utah on gay marriage? Yeah, that's not going to go. You don't tell a state that's formed by, you know, ran and occupied, you know, by people on the extreme right that they have to obey on a law from the extreme left. That one. The, 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 okay, uh, basically Utah Supreme Court will throw it out, then it's going to end up going to the federal courts. Because Utah Supreme, Supreme Court has not been able to rule on it. They're trying, what it was was a, a, a judge on the left, uh, on the Ninth Circuit Court in California, has repeatedly ruled, well, the Supreme Court has ruled, that, no they didn't rule, they said, they're, they said specifically, they did not say the Defense of Marriage Act was illegal, they said it was miswritten. There is a difference between illegal and miswritten. They it was to go. They sent it back to the United States Congress to be rewritten. And because Harry Reid's in charge, they won't bring up what the Supreme Court sent them. When the Supreme Court sent, here you know, Reid says, when the Supreme Court orders you to re, to fix it and you don't fix it, you tend to piss off even the people on the left who sent it to you to be rewritten. It was the left that sent it to you to be rewritten. Yeah. And e-cigarettes, a burning question for U.S. regulators. Well, because the problem comes as if a majority of e-cigarettes are nothing but for decoration. they got fruit vapor. But the, what happens is they're trying to use the Environmental Protection Agency's thing about carbon dioxide to regulate 
what comes out of an e-cigarette because you're putting it into the air. <coughs> oh gonna, yeah, we're yeah. gonna get fruit vapor. Yeah, and that's basically <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, this is from Herbie Eddie himself. He said, never lie to a professional liar. <laughs> <laughs>